Hi folks, this is Max from HighOnAndroid.com where we get high on Android every day. Anyway, today let's talk about some of the different things in technology this week, this month. Uh, there's been out the uh, the new Windows Surface tablet. Um, I think it's a great idea. Um, Windows at some point, Microsoft I mean, at some point they have to decide uh, what kind of tablets they're going to come out with and I think they've actually done a terrific job. Now it will just take time um, to see whether their latest tablets will become popular or not and also the number of apps on Windows RT and also how you can you know actually run Windows 8 on it um, all that kind of stuff um, I'm an early adapter so I might get one and play around with it but it seems like um, they you know they already have a good share of the PC market so I think a lot of those PC users uh, definitely might uh, be thinking about purchasing one of those Windows Surface tablets and I think I'll get one um, just to play around with but you know tablets aren't you know necessity of our lives right now um, just in general I think tablets are overrated you know I have a bunch of tablets but you know I use my phone most of the time 80% of the time maybe 10-20% I use my tablets um, especially the Galaxy Note 2 or the Note uh, I don't really need a tablet you know it's it just does both you know I don't need I, I can kill two birds with one stone so that's what I'm thinking about the Windows Surface tablets. Now, what about the next Nexus phone, the Google Nexus LG Nexus 4? It's called. Uh, I think it's a great device. I think LG is a very good company. They make very good hardware. Um, you know, they've always made good phones. Just their software sucked or their support sucked. Uh, but since Google is actually making the software, uh, and also it should come with Unlock Bootloader for the actual Nexus 4. Um, the Google Nexus 4. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm definitely getting one, at least one, um, and I think that's going to make LG take off because LG hasn't, you know, historically been good with software and support. One of the reasons they don't really understand how Android OS works, but by working with Google, they'll be able to go ahead and uh, get to that next level. And I think we'll see LG come up. And uh, you saw Samsung do the same thing when they first came out with the Nexus S. It was all right, um, or the or the Galaxy S, and then they came out with the Nexus S. They're working with Google, and then they came out with the Galaxy Nexus. Everything got better. The software got better. The TouchWiz got better. Galaxy S3 just bam, you know. They're selling more Galaxy S3s than iPhones now. Hooray, you know. And uh, you know, I think the same route for LG. Um, it doesn't really matter. Every company they should go through that route. Every company that has gone through the Google Nexus phone has always succeeded even HCC I mean you know they they will they would have never gotten to this point if they didn't make the first Google phone um, or the Nexus one uh, which were highlights of that that company they still make, still make great phones and I, I think they will come back uh, HCC you know I'm counting on them I'm just hoping they get rid of that HCC dev.com it just sucks and uh, you know that's my thought and uh, let's talk about the other thing that happened yesterday. iPad Mini was out. Uh, what do I think about iPad Mini? Um, I think it's it's a good tablet. You know, it's not a bad tablet at all. Um, the only thing that really sucks about it is that it has 1024 by 768 pixels, while every other Android uh, tablet manufacturer or even you know other tablets they're coming out with at least 1280 by 720, which is full 720p HD. That means if you want to watch 720p HD videos or any HD videos, you'll have to go, you know, borrow your friend's Nexus 7, go borrow your friend's uh, Amazon Kindle Fire HD. Um, and also the price point, $329 is way too expensive. Um, you know, you can get a Kindle Fire 7 inch HD for just $199. Uh, it comes with 7 inch, 720p HD screen, even has uh, dual stereo speakers, which I like, and also dual band Wi-Fi, which means it's made for Wi-Fi, um, your living room, all of that. And also the Nexus 7 has NFC, um, and also you can mod it. It's a Nexus Google device. Um, it's easy to mod, and uh, you know it, it, there's a ton of things you can do. Also, the uh, Kindle Fire HD 8.9 inch, it comes for $299. I have it on pre-order. That one has an 8.9 inch 1080p HD screen. So as far as the resolution goes, the iPad mini just, you know, I don't know why they did it because, you know, previously they've made everything retina. And uh, I'm not too into resolution, but making it 1024 by 768 on a 7.9 inch screen, 
that's simply not gonna look good because I have a seven inch I have a bunch of seven inch devices 1024 by 768 that came out last year the Kindle Fire the Nuke the Nuke HD no the Nuke the Nuke yeah the Barnes and Noble the Nuke color or Nuke Touch sorry um, so you know those were great last year but you know it's 2012 people need higher resolution of course for those of you who are tied into the Apple system um, you bought all of your music on iTunes um, you bought all these apps on your iPhone um, then definitely I guess you can't lose because you already bought all this stuff so you're already tied in and uh, you know iPad mini could be an option but still the price point is way too high and Apple is just way too greedy um, and uh, even if you're a Apple user, um, ape user, no, sorry. Uh, even if you're ape, ape, I'm sorry, ape user, Apple user, um, it's definitely gonna save you a lot of money uh, to get, uh, you know, switch to Android now. And uh, if you bought all those apps, at least you know you're gonna save about $130 by getting the Kindle Fire, um, and also you'll get a lot bigger resolution, a lot bigger screen for the same money, um, you know. So that's what I think. Anyway. Um, I think that's about it. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of tell you what I was thinking about all this tech stuff and, you know, just get it out there. And uh, if you have any questions, don't forget to leave in the comment section. I'll try my best to, you know, answer every one of them. And uh, let's do a common question of the day. So question of the day, what would you do if somebody bought you an iPad mini as a present? So leave your interesting and creative comments and the winner will win. Uh, a free 5,000 milliamp per hour charger um, I have right here I'll send you this one I just got it it's brand new pretty much brand new I've used it like once so leave your interesting comments uh, and I'll have it in the next show give it out um, ship it out to you actually this is kinda cool well, let me do a short review of this um, it actually comes with a bunch of chargers um, you can even you know charge your I iPhone if you're an i whore all of these chargers, um, 5,000 milliamp per hour battery. It can charge your phone, recharge your phone about two, three times. Pretty nice stuff. Um, you can also get it on Amazon. I'll have links below if you want to also int interested in that. Uh, and also the video of the day, uh, video of the day, feature video of the day. Uh, check out, check out Flosky Carter's Galaxy Note 10.1 real review. He goes into depth some of the cool stuff about the Note 10.1. A uh, very good video. Check it out. Check out his channel and subscribe to him. And uh, if you have any cool videos, um, don't forget to send it to me. Uh, you know, really good videos, if, you know, of your best ones. And I'll feature it in my next video, um, you know, at the end of the video. And uh, I think that's it. Anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button here, subscribe button up there, sh and share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Plus. And I hope you enjoyed uh, uh, my rambling here. See you all later. And stay high on Android. Yeah.